the 13th session here will as we have the introduction of pointers now we'll go for taking up what exactly call by reference is before going for call by reference let me remind the concept of call by value in the main function i define i create and initialize then integer variable with 10 and another integer variable with 20 now when i say print f person d i mean in main for the first time i takes the person d value and j takes the person d value that is for i comma j call the function and pass the values i and j after that will go to the compiler goes to the function there in the function receive i and j point variables and now say increment them i equal to i plus 1 likewise j equal to j plus 1 now finally print f in function i equals person d and j equals person d comma i comma j so here we'll be printing the values of incremental values of i and j and in function we'll print the incremental values coming back to main you'll print in main for the second time i equal to person d and j equal to person d comma i comma j what happens over here is as int i and j have been initialized with 10 and 20 those values are printed later on the 10 and 20 will be passed on as value to the variables i and j on which i am doing the incrementation and i am printing the incremented values but this change doesn't affect in main that is this printf statement cannot print the incremented values so when i was in main for the first time i holds 10 and j holds 20 in function i holds 11 and j holds 21 because function increments the received values in main for the second time the values of i and j are still 10 and 20 only this is the concept of call by values now going for call by reference as i said we'll remind the concept of point as once and then we'll enter into call by reference i holds 3 and print f person d comma ampersand i this as you remember prints the address in which the value 3 is stored now if i store it in another pointer p and printing person d comma star p i'll be printing the value which takes up the address of i so it print up the ampersand i prints the address and star p prints the value so it's clear that when i use ampersand i it is address and when i use star p it is the value i takes 10 comma j takes 20 Now, as usually I'll print in main for the first time for the first time I takes person D and J takes person D. So now J takes the person D value comma I comma J calling the function but this time I'll pass the address of i and address of j so in the function 
I need to receive them void function as I'm passing addresses I need to receive them in pointers p and another pointer q now saying pointer p it's the value plus 1 and place here itself as we say p equal to p plus 1 because these are pointers value plus 1 place at that likewise pointer q takes up pointer q plus 1 and now when I print in function value of pointer p equal to percent d and pointer q equal to percent d comma pointer p comma pointer q after coming back to function you print in main for the second time the value of i equal to percent d and the value of j equal to percent d comma i comma j now the values you see are, have been changed because you have done the manipulations on the addresses and addresses are unique now you can see in main when for the first time the value of i was 10 and j was 20 when i pass them to the function pointer p and pointer q receive them in those addresses i've been changed the value of i 11 and 12 21 and when i come back to main because the values at that particular address has been changed into 11 and 21 i'll be printing 11 and 21 so this is the concept of call by reference in which we'll be changing the values on the addresses this is the difference between call by value and call by reference coming to pointers and arrays the array name is the base address of the array example character array will take up an integer example integer array which holds certain values the values be 3 comma 5 7 9 and 6 are the values what it holds an integer variable so that I can repeat the loop first of all I begins with 0 and is less than or equal to less than 5 and I plus plus now print the value what array of ith block holds so it's clear that it will print all the values what array holds 3, 5, 7, 9 and 6. Now if I place ampersand, it's clear that it will print the addresses. Now if you go for the addresses, they are little bit unusual because consider this example at the beginning. If we print percent d comma ampersand array of 0 you can see you can see 8674 so it's clear that 3 is stored at 8674 can you guess where 5 is stored this is little bit unusual as you can observe all the values all the addresses of the array now the base address that is 3 address begins from 78 78 again so for 5 it is 80 so what happened to 79 this is the con confused part of array addresses we call them array is stored in contiguous memory locations continuous memory locations one after the other as you can see 78 80 82 84 and 86 but what happened to 79 81 as, as our size of operator gives the size of that particular integer which is of 2 bytes the other byte the 2 bytes 78 and 79 have been occupied by integer only 
that is byte 3 and for phi to uh, to place phi compiler has taken two bytes which are 80 and 81 to place 7 compiler has taken 82 and 83 so likewise if it is an integer it will be considering 2 2 bytes if it is a float and float variable takes 4 4 bytes you can see the values printed the addresses printed of float variables will be of 4 4 bytes gap with them my subscript should be an integer all the time now observe 3 begins from 9212 after that it's not 9214 but it's 9216 because a float byte needs four float byte ne float needs four bytes of space and so the gap happens to be four four bytes likewise depending on your array type it takes four that number of bytes and you know size of this is the operator which gives printf percent d comma size of what is that you need integer 2 bytes float 4 bytes character 1 byte so this size of operator gives you the size of what an integer takes Now going for two dimensional array and its pointers which are even more unusual a two dimensional array is defined in this way, this way. so it is I said a collection of single dimensional arrays with certain elements so this says the number of single dimensional arrays and this says the number of elements so the outer base outer base close are two single dimensional arrays which holds three three values six now if we use variables like r and c row and column in row and column for i equal to r equal to 0 r less than 2 and r plus plus for column equal to 0 column less than 3 and column plus plus now print all the addresses percent e comma array of ampersand array of row and column so it gives you these are the addresses 74 76 78 80 82 and 84 so this proves that two dimensional array is also in contiguous memory locations so whatever the dimension of the array may be it will be in contiguous memory locations going for the next topic the next topic is pointers to functions like variables functions also have certain address to get the function addresses mention function names so this is the concept in which we'll see whether the function can return the particular address of variable or not in main I have an integer variable integer variable i which takes 3 I say printf percent d comma ampersand i this clearly says in main I'll be printing the address of i now call the function and pass the address of i which is 
and there in function to receive as you have seen in call by reference it was void function I need a pointer so this is the prototype void function integer pointer p and here you can say printf percent d comma percent d function comma p so the address of i has been passed into the pointer variable printing it on the screen both in main and function it gives 8686 which is the address of the variable coming to the question is it possible for the function to return address for that the thing we need to do is I'll create I'll simply call the function as there is no argument I'll pass nothing I'll simply call the function and here in function I'll create the variable p whose address is what I'll display on the screen now I'll return the address of p because I'm returning it should clear that I need to mention integer and here because I'm returning a pointer address I need to receive it in a pointer so I receives it now when I say printf main that person D should be the same as what I have printed for the address because address of P is given into the pointer variable so is it possible the defect the error over here is this when you are making the function to return some value mention that the function is returning a pointer now as you can see function in which I have created a pointer variable a normal integer variable whose address has been displayed in function 8674 and I am returning ampersand p which the pointer i receives when I print i I'll return I will print the same address on the screen so this is how you can make a function return a pointer also